Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody, and welcome back to another LSPDFR episode. Happy Saturday to all of you guys. I hope you I hope you all have a great weekend so far. Many of you guys were watching, man. I can't believe we're almost in the mid-April. That is crazy. That is crazy. Uh, today, we're going to be taking out the uh, the police bike today, man. Uh, this uh, police bike right here, this is the uh, BMW police bike. I was trying to put it in my game the last time. Actually, this time I just put it in the right slot and it actually worked. So, uh, yeah, we're going to take out this uh, BMW uh, police bike here. And um, we're going to see what we can go into today. We are going to be uh, representing uh, Blaine County, Harris County Sheriff's Office, of course. Uh, we're going to be mostly on the highway today, uh, catching speeders and stuff like that, since we're going to be traffic enforcement. Um, the sheriff can t take care of that, uh, can be that as well. Uh, but you don't have to. They don't necessarily always have to stay in the county. Um, the highway is always another option. We can always help out the highway patrol. Um, of course, we can't take any suspects or anything like that. So, we'll be, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll be, uh, we'll be just uh, helping out, we'll be pursuing out, of course, and um, yeah, we'll be handing off the suspects off to another officer who has a vehicle, and uh, we'll go from there uh, today. So that's what we're gonna do today, and that's what we're gonna go ahead and get into now. So let's go ahead and hop on, and we're gonna go ahead and head on down to the highway here. Uh, let me put my helmet on real quick. There we go. All righty. Now, let's go ahead and head on down to the highway, shall we? I hope y'all are having a great weekend, man. I hope y'all are having a great Saturday. This is the last video for the week. And, of course, on Monday, I'll start uh, recording again for Monday, man. For another uh, for another LSPDFR. I hope y'all are enjoying these, man. See, a lot of people are kind of starting to enjoy them. A lot of people don't care for them. And I, I understand that. I know my, my content is normally around trains and stuff like that. But um, like I said, I want to try some things new on the channel, try some other things, and go from there and see what see what we can do, man. I'm really excited to see, um, see how we can do with LSPDFR, man. I love this game, so I was like, might as well record this game. All right, so let's go into dispatch. Though we are available for calls. 198 to dispatch. Show me available for calls. Copy that. Lincoln 198. Proceed with patrol. Alrighty. And let's see what we can get on into, man. Hope y'all are having a great Saturday. And like I said again, it's a beautiful day here in Houston, man. It's sunny out. The sun is out. Sun's shining bright. Yeah, man. I hope y'all are having a great one. Of course, you know I'm, I'm recording this on um, I'm recording this on on uh, the day before, so um, yeah, man. I hope y'all enjoy it. Hope y'all enjoy it, man. Beautiful day, beautiful sunny day. <clears throat> After all the rocky weather, here, here, as you see in a minute here, let you see what what day I'm recording this. I oh, got I'm saying great, yeah. 198 responding. 10 copy that. Lincoln 198. All right, let's go ahead and take that call. Units respond, code two. Let me turn this off. All right, we're going to run code two. It's all the way in grape seed. We're looking for a bold Dartville. So uh, let's go. Let's go serve the outstanding warrant on this guy here. And we're going to go there, code two. Uh, just lights. Um, just lights, no siren. This bike looks so good. I'm so glad I got it in my game. Glad it works too. I'm glad it popped in. I thought it wasn't gonna pop in. I thought the the uh, 
the vanilla bike was still gonna pop up, but nope, it, it's showing up as it should. That's good. It's a really good thing. All right, so yeah, so we're on our way to go serve an outstanding warrant on the uh, Bo Darville here in Grapeseed, and um, we're gonna go ahead and take him into custody here. Hopefully he doesn't uh, hopefully he doesn't try anything funny. All right, so his house is right up here to the left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up right over here. I'm gonna stop the bike. And I'm gonna pull up my, uh, I'm gonna do this one right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and call for backup so we can have somebody up here to uh, help me serve this warrant. So let's go ahead and call a, uh, let's go ahead and call the coachie back up here to get us, Assistance help me out here. All righty. Now you're just coming in right now. <clears throat> And hopefully, Mr. Mr. Uh, Bo here will let us take it in, in custody without incident. So, alrighty, my unit is here. I'm going to get off the bike, take off this helmet. Hey, brother. So we're gonna go serve a uh, a warrant on this uh on this uh, resident over here, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, just make sure I just need some backup. You know, you don't want to go to a warrant by yourself. Alright, brother. Let's go. All right, so the uh, residence is going to be right over here. Sheriff's Department, Mr. Darville, we have a warrant out for your arrest, brother. Oh, Jesus Christ. Shots fired, shots fired. This man is still up? What the heck? Bro, go down! Got him. Jesus Christ. Holy. Jeez Louise, bro. All right. Good Lord. All right. I think they got everybody. All right. Let me go ahead and pick up these weapons. Good Lord, dude. Glad I had backup, but we had to call some extra units to come get to come help me out. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and restrain this dude here. All right, so we got this guy restrained. I can't see. I'm popping a unit. Oh, this unit's in my way. Move, bro. Thank y'all for coming, man. I appreciate y'all backing me up here. That guy did not want to go down. Oh, I had it. All right, let me go ahead and detain all of these guys. Uh, let's find out who's Bo. Let's find out who's Bo here. Get all these guys in custody here real quick. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and search one by one. Let's see who we can find Mr. Bo here. Let me just make sure they don't have anything else on them. What a way to start the patrol, man. Already in the shootout. <clears throat> okay, so that's not Mr. Bo. He has another revolver. Go ahead and take that off of him. Um, all right, let's see who this is. I'm gonna go ahead and get EMS here. Dispatch request, EMS. I have four males down, multiple GSWs. Ambulance. Assistance needed. In Grape 
Okay. Uh oh my goodness gracious, y'all did not see that hashtag. You didn't guys did not see that. Jesus Christ. God Lee, what the heck is wrong with people? Okay, this guy has two more of uh, guns on him. Good lord. All right, this might be our suspect right here. Let's see. This guy's in the tree. I can't even see where he is. I mean, he is real in this tree. Dispatch request fire. Fire truck. There he is. All right, we found him. This is Mr. Darville right here. He had two pistols on him. He had a homemade pistol on him. I don't know what those mean, but um, yeah, they all had weapons on them. One guy had something I don't even want to see again. Good lord, that was bad. I was like, oh my god. I just hope YouTube don't get me for it. <laughs> oh god, Lee. That was that was that's pretty bad. We got fire coming in to help us. EMS is now pulling in. Alrighty. Well, this road is now shut down. So let's go ahead and shut this road down. Through all traffic. Now we got a flipped over truck over here. Alright. So, ambulance fire is here to take care of everybody. We have another ambulance on this way. This man had a whole bunch of bullets. Mr. Oh, Mr. Darville is the person we need. Oh, but I'm going to go ahead and take him to the hospital. Jesus he had the most Christ. shots. Okay, looks like all of them made it. All of them made it. That what? How the heck did all of them make it? Bro, what the heck is this? All, everybody made it? There's no way. There is no way everybody made that. That's crazy. I never seen something like that. Well, they're all gonna go to jail after they get all all of them get out of the hospital. Oh, fell from the hypothesis. I'm dead. God please. Oh my goodness. Yeah, all of them. Uh, all of them made it. I am shocked at that. I'm very shocked at that. Man. All right, units, you're all good to go. Thank you very much. Y'all are dismissed. Thank you. All right. Um, EMS is going to go ahead and take everybody to the hospital here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, EMS is going to do their thing. I'm going to tow this vehicle right up here that flip. Um, this F-150, I have to fix the, the, um, the hands like on these are not good. I'm going to just tow it away. Dispatch request, 1185. Yeah, that's crazy though. Everybody made it. That is ridiculous. This guy here has bullet holes in his vehicle. Alright. Um Dispatch request plate check. Suspect's license plate six five Paul Ida Charles three five three. Dispatch if you can get a hold of uh, Mr. Woods, Mr. Cashford Woods on his vehicle. He has the shattered uh glass on his vehicle. Maybe we can just let them be uh, be advising and um, let them know his vehicle's gonna, gonna go ahead and get towed. 10 4, copy that. Alright. Dispatch request 1185. Alright, let's go ahead and tow his vehicle. It's got bullet holes in it, so um, we're gonna go ahead and get it um, repoed. Go ahead and get it towed, out, get it towed out of here. We don't wanna keep a vehicle that has bullet holes in it. That's not okay. Not cool either. So we're gonna go ahead and tow it. Um, dispatch is going to go ahead and get a hold of the registered owner of the vehicle and let them know that his uh, vehicle has been towed. Um, it was involved in the shooting. <laughs> all right. And we're going to go ahead and get on out of here. Um, EMS is taking care of all the bodies. And I believe they are all clear. That unit is still on scene. So he will go ahead and do his investigation. And that will mean I'm going to go ahead and get back out here on the highway. We're going to head back over here to the highway and see if we can get on into <laughs> So I'm going to hit clear traffic control. 
All right, and uh, EMS is about to clear out of here. That unit, go ahead and finish the investigation. And I'm gonna go ahead and get on back out here. See what else we can get on into. That was crazy. That was crazy right there. First call, and we already got in the shooting. What a perfect way to start a Saturday. All right, 198 to dispatch. Dispatch, show me available for calls. Oh, we have for one person to see. So that unit will go ahead and take care of it. All righty. Let's go ahead and head back for the highway here. I love this bike. This bike looks so good. I see you got the the AR on the back there. That's tied up. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. The highway is over here. Don't worry about that traffic light. I think somebody hit it earlier and kind of messed up. You know. All right, let's pull over right over here. Let's catch us a speeder. I wish we had somebody had put like a, a, a nice radar gun in, but I don't think they will have one that's not out of date. So we're going to have to use the, I think we're going to have to use this. Uh, let me see here. Seventy-four. All right, let's go catch up with this vehicle up here that's going seventy-four and a sixty. All right, so guys, we're gonna go ahead and catch up to this vehicle who was going seventy-four and a sixty. Let's see who it was. Uh, let's see who it was up here. Okay, it's gonna be this vehicle right over here. Let's go ahead and pull them over. Go to the right, buddy. All right. 198 traffic. Can't four copy that. 198 to dispatch. Show me on a 1011. It's going to be a gray in color vehicle. Occupy. Uh, it's going to be a gray, uh, gray in color hatchback. Occupied one time. Going to be located. Right off the Sonora Freeway, facing north, near Postal 3031. Copy that, Lincoln 198. Dispatch request plate check. Target license plate 22 George William Charles 196. Right. So I'm 74 and a 60. Let's go ahead and see why they're going that fast. Let me take off the helmet one second. There we go. How you doing, ma'am? Officer, uh, excuse me. Yeah, uh, Deputy Williams with the uh, Blaine County Sheriff's Office, man. The reason why I'm pulling you up, man, 74 and a 60 in my private zone. Is there a reason for your speed? You wasn't knowing you was going that fast? Well, ma'am, there's your uh, speedometer work down there. Does that, uh, does that speedometer work in there? It does? Okay, well, maybe you want to start taking a look at it a little bit more. All right, ma'am, do me a favor. Let me go ahead and get your license, registration, proof of insurance, please. All right, Miss Woods, who are you in relation to the register owner, ma'am? Your boyfriend? All right, so, yeah, 70, so does he know you're going, you're speeding in his vehicle? No? 
All right. Do me a favor. Sit tight for me. I'll be right back with you. All right. So since we don't have a vehicle, what we can do is I can pull out the iPad. Let's go ahead and hit this right here. And we can use the iPad. All right. So let's see. This is going to be a blister. All right. So everything is valid on the vehicle. Uh, Andre, Andre Romero. He's the registered owner. He's 25 years of age. His license is suspended, but he's not driving the vehicle. So uh, she said that is her boyfriend. So, yeah, um, let's see. And she is uh, Kathleen Woods, 25 years of age as well. Uh, she has one prior citation or prior arrest. Uh, she has not, she's not on probation or parole. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create the citation today for going uh, 74 into 60, which is going to be 14 over the limit. So it's going to be this one right over here. And she does not appear in court for this. Alrighty. And let's go ahead and get that to her. Alright, Miss Woods. So I'm going to go ahead and issue a citation today for 74 and 60 mile per hour zone. Ma'am, you're going to have to slow it down, okay? This whole stretch of highway, the speed limit is 60 miles per hour, okay? And you should not even go that fast. It's okay you go a little bit over to pass somebody. But we're going 74 miles an hour is a little bit too much, ma'am. You're going to have to slow it down for us, okay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and issue our citation for today for your speed. All I need you to do is go ahead and sign this for me. You're not, not a mission to guilt. Just make sure you take care of it on Sunday in the ticket. All right, ma'am, thank you very much. All right, so uh, if you want to take care of that that, uh, that ticket, you may do so. Um, the, uh, um, all the information will be on the backhand side. But, uh, if you want to call in, call it in, want to pay it over the phone. Um, if you want to go up to the court, your court date will be set on the top right hand corner of the citation, okay? All right, man, when I get back in my vehicle, you are free to go. You have a better rest of your day. All right, go ahead and get off. Let's get that first person. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and let her go. She almost caused an accident just pulling out. Lord have mercy. All right, let's 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 stay right here. Let's see if we can catch us another speeder. And oh, we're not available for calls. 198 to dispatch. Dispatch, show me available for calls. Roger, Lincoln, 198. Proceed with patrol. All right, guys, and let's see what else we can get on into. Oh, that guy, yeah, that guy's definitely speeding. Yeah, let's go after him. It's going to be on the Dominator right here. And he has underglow as well. So we're going after him. I don't know why this, this girl or guy are running. I don't know why they're running. But uh, we're going after this guy up here. 77 and a 60. It's going to be on this. Oh, God. It's going to be this vehicle right here. Just underglow on here as well. But it's yellow. It's not uh, red or uh, it's not red or blue. So that's okay. All righty. 198 traffic. Four. 198. Show me on a 1011. It's going to be a black and color um, vehicle, muscle car occupied. One time, we're going to be located right off the, of the uh, Sonora Freeway, right at the Sonora Freeway and Great Ocean Highway uh, uh, changeover. We're going to be near Postal 3030. Dispatch request plate check. Plate four six Edward Victor Charles Niner zero five. All right, let's go ahead and uh, I'm talk to this person up here, and let's see why they're going seventy seven and a sixty. I'm taking this helmet off. There we go. All right. Hey, how you doing, sir? Deputy Williams with the loss of what the Blaine County Sheriff's Office, man. The reason why I'm pulling you over, man, seventy seven and a sixty mile per hour zone. The reason for your speed today. You all, you're like you're running late for work. Okay, well that's not an excuse for you to be speeding out here on our roads, man. Do me a favor. Let me go ahead and see your license, registration, proof of insurance, please. Could you please show me your ID? 
Thank you. All right, Mr. Bobson, is that correct? All right, Mr. Bobson. So 77 to 60 miles per hour zone, you say you're running late for work? All right, man. But uh, that's, not a, that's not a reason for you to be speeding out here on our roads, man. That's very dangerous. You could end up crashing into somebody and stuff like that. Um, Mr. Bobson, let me ask you something, man. I, I smell something. I, call it, I smell something coming out your vehicle, man. Um, have, did you use any drugs in, uh, today? No. All right. Do you have drugs in this vehicle? That's your what be you know about? You mind if you know? Okay. I appreciate you being honest with me, man. All right. Uh, I know there's an odor of narcotics coming out your vehicle, but windows were rolled down like that all day. Okay. All righty. Okay, sir, and also, you're set, uh, you're nervous and sweaty, so I just wanted to know what's going on, man. Uh, let me see. All right. Do me a favor, sir. I'll be right back with you. Just sit tight for me, okay? All right. Okay. So, what I'm going to do... Hop back off the bike. Here's what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and call a backup unit here. Dispatch request code to back up. Alright, and let's go ahead and stand right here. Let's check this information and see what we got going on. Let me get a unit up here to help me with this uh, traffic stop. Alright, uh, let's see. Vehicle records, the gauntlet. Alright, everything is valid. He is the vehicle's not stolen. He is the registered owner of the vehicle. Um, he's 22 years of age. He's not on probation or parole. His license is valid. No accident warrants. There's no prior arrest. He has two prior citations. He has a prior citation and a prior warning for public intoxication. Uh, that was back in the beginning of 2023. Um, he got charged both times for that. He got cited both times for that. All right, so I smell uh, a narcotic come out the vehicle. So let's go ahead and get a marked unit here so they can help me out. Um, why is all of it there? It should not be. So let me see if we can fix them. There we go. All right, we got the Texas DPS coming to help us out. It's an older four, uh, older Dodge Charger there. I appreciate you coming, man. I smell narcotics coming out of his vehicle, so I'm just gonna pull him out and see if he's gonna let us uh, search the vehicle. All right, sir, can you do me a favor? Can you go ahead and step out the vehicle for me, please? Are you refusing to come out the vehicle, sir? I'm gonna ask you again, man, because I, I smell the cars coming out the vehicle. So I have all, I have every right to, to ask you to come out the vehicle, man. So do me a favor, step out the vehicle, please. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. All right. So for my safety and your safety, I'm just gonna come back you down. Just make sure you don't have any drugs or anything, or have any weapons or anything on you like that. So go ahead and turn around for me. You got two pistols on you, man. What the heck? Oh no. Go and turn around for me. You're under arrest, dumbass. At this time, sir, you're gonna go ahead and be uh, be detained at this time. You have two weapons on you, man. Alright, well you gotta we gotta let law enforcement know you have weapons on you, brother. It's not okay. Alright, do me a favor. Turn around, let me go ahead and take these weapons off of you and let me see what else was in your pockets. Something else was in here. Let me see what they were. Ounce of white powder. All right, man. What's this? Uh, what's this white powder, brother? What's this white powder? It's not yours. Oh, it's in your pants. These are those your pants? Oh, okay. All right. Well, we're gonna get the. We're gonna run a test kit on that, man. All right. And also, you see, you're under the influence. Let's. Look at, yo, you want to do a drug swap test for me? All right, man. So open your mouth for me. All right, so he's high on cocaine and methamphetamine. All right, man, so you are you were driving under the influence as well. All right, so that's gonna be a DUI charge as well. All right, let's go. Go ahead and set, uh, take a seat in my uh, partner's vehicle here. And we're gonna use his vehicle to uh, do a narcotics field test. All right, go ahead and take a seat for me. All 
Oh, don't tell me he's gonna do this stupid stuff. Yeah, it is. Okay. Let me move this vehicle over a little bit. Yeah, they don't like getting on the left for some reason. All right. Let me walk away. Okay, come back. There we go. All right, take a seat for me. All right, there we go. He's in the vehicle now. All right, let's run in the uh, car. Uh, let me go check the vehicle before we run a narcotics field test on this white powder. Right, guys, I'm awesome out of time, so we're probably gonna go ahead and call this. This is gonna be our last. All right, so we see we have a baggie of multicolored bottle paper, briefcase with 21 for oh, he has more drugs in here. All right, well, yeah, he's definitely going to jail, that's for sure. He's definitely going to jail. All right, let's go ahead and search all these uh, drugs he had on him. All right, we're gonna use this unit's uh, vehicle to see if we can uh, run an archaic field test. All right, so we have one, he has uh, he had a white powder and a plastic bag on him. Let's see if this comes back, heroin, uh, cocaine, or methamphetamine. Okay, so it's negative for heroin. Let's see if it's gonna be cocaine or methamphetamine. Also could be fentanyl on PCP. Can't rule those out as well. It's white powder. So sometimes white powder could be something. Lincoln 198 to dispatch. I have one mail 1015. Ten four copy that. Is backup required? Negative. Ten four copy that. It's negative for that. No, might be PCP. Could not be anything. All right, so I'm gonna pop the PCP. All right, and then we have a baggie of multicolored blotter paper. Let's see, that's gonna be LSD or fentanyl. So, so far, we have possession of PCP. Uh, what they tend to distribute. Let's see what else we got here. We have possession of fentanyl, and then a briefcase of uh, 20 one fourth ounce bags of white powder. That's also gonna be what they tend to distribute. Uh, let's see if that's gonna be uh, cocaine. See if that comes back with. Okay, so it's gonna be negative for cocaine. Let's see, it's gonna be heroin. Okay, it's negative for heroin. Methamphetamine. This could be more PCP. Oh, it's not coming back anything. Oh. Okay, there might be some fake drugs here. Yeah, this is not coming back for anything. Alrighty. Um, he had two weapons on him as well. Let's go ahead and check those weapons. It's about to make requests and serial number check on a 3D printed pistol. It's going to be P4463T. Alright, it belongs to him. This way, should run another serial number check on a whole mate pistol. It's going to be K930450F. Also belongs to him. Okay. Um, at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put my charges on him. Um, he's uh, he has no gun per he has no gun permit. So at this time, he will be charged for illegal possession of a firearm. And I'm gonna go ahead and tow the vehicle. Dispatch request 1185. Dispatch request 1185. All right. Flatbed. Assistance needed in Mount Chiliad. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and put my charges on this guy here. Um, so it's going to be Mr. Bobson here.
just gonna go ahead and go in today for the possession of PCP. Uh, with the intent to distribute, it will also be possession of um, it will also be possession of fentanyl, and he also still has that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and charge him with the possession of controlled substance. Maybe at the station they can uh, use that briefcase and see what else they can find um, off of it. Um, he's gonna get a felony charge for it. Um, just because it, it's it's over, it's more than what it is. Um, he is under the in, under the influence of controlled substance, so we're gonna go ahead and charge him for that. I'm also gonna go ahead and get him for um, a misdemeanor DUI, and I believe that is all I have on him. Um, he has to have two weapons on him, so illegal possession, illegal firearm possession. All right, and those guns both belong to him, so. He'll get charged for having two counts of it. All right, so um, he has a uh, he has a couple of charges there, a couple of felonies, about two two to three misdemeanors on there. And I'm gonna go ahead and get him the citation seventy seven and a sixty. That's seventeen over, so it'll be fifteen and nineteen over. That way, that you know the judge will see why did I stop out with Mr. Bob's in here. It's reasons why right there. Um, fifteen and nineteen over. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and have this unit take him. And I need to step away back from him so I don't end up him, you know, come in my partner. And let's go ahead and get him out of here. Assistance needed in Mount Chiliad. Sorry, in your vehicle, buddy. I appreciate your backup. All right, Apto coming in for the vehicle right now. This door's locked. <laughs> You're too kind. Oh, he get in? He got in. All right, good. All right, let me get the let me walk the tow truck over here so we can get this car vehicle picked up. Alrighty, and just like that, guys. And just like that, guys. Uh, that's gonna do it for me. I do appreciate you guys watching, man. I do appreciate it. Thank you all so much for being here. Hope you all have a great weekend. I will see you back here on Monday, man. Have a great weekend. I will see you all again. Uh, I will see you all again then. Until then, Joy John Williams out. God bless.